If that door was an actual Banksy, it'd be worth millions of dollars. Well, I'll sell it to you for 100 grand. Nah, I don't see the Providence on it. I didn't say I had that. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Dennis Collins is a business owner and reality TV personality who appeared in the popular show Fast and Loud. During his time spent on the show, Dennis cemented a spot in the memories of the show's fans as the crew member who's highly knowledgeable about every car that rolls into the garage. Unfortunately, Fast and Loud was axed in 2020, and Dennis has since moved on to his own series on YouTube called Coffee Walk, where he makes incredible barn finds and restores them to their former glory. Dennis has made his whole life and business about cars. He owns two companies, Black Mountain Jeep Parts and Convergence and Collins Bros Jeep. Dennis Collins restores and converts Jeeps at these businesses and also sells OEM Jeep parts. However, Dennis's restoration abilities are not restricted to just Jeeps. As long as they're old and classic cars and not beyond saving, Dennis is always interested in buying and fixing them up, resulting in some of the coolest classic cars we have ever seen. Join us as we delve into some of the most insane car restorations made by Dennis Collins. Come on in, take a look. And right there in front of me, Nash Healy Roadster. We know what those are worth. We damn sure do. Wow. What year's this one? 50. 52. Is it a two or three? Two. That's a three. Dennis was born in 1965, and his obsession with cars began as a teenager. When he was 15, he bought and sold his first three cars, a 1949 Chevrolet five-window pickup, a 1948 Ford pickup, and a 1966 Mustang Coupe. After that experience, Dennis fell in love with cars, driven by the need to know everything about them, restore them, and flip them for a profit whenever possible. As a high schooler, he drove the 66 Ford Mustang Coupe, the same one he sold at 15. After high school, he attended the University of Texas, graduating with a degree in economics and finance. After college, Dennis decided he wanted to do business and settled for buying and selling cars. Dennis started fueling his passion for selling cars with an ad he put in the Dallas Morning News more than 30 years ago. That first ad read, Wanted Dead or Alive. It led the foundation for his businesses, Collins Bros Jeep, Black Mountain Jeep Parts and Conversions, and his YouTube series Coffee Walk. Today, Dennis goes around buying cars, both running and non-running, and then he restores them to their former glory before selling them to customers who want a piece of history in their garage. Here are some of the most insane transformations Dennis has made to vehicles that deserve another chance at life. 1937 SS 2.5 liter OHV Jaguar Tour. The 1937 SS Jaguar Tour is toted as one of the most beautiful cars one will ever see. After seeing Dennis's restoration abilities on this Jaguar, we can say without a doubt that it is one of the most beautiful cars you'll ever see. When the Jaguar Tour was built in 1937, only 45 examples were made. Right now, only 11 of the original 45 examples are known to still exist. Dennis's Jaguar is more unique than the rest because it was a special order. It came with the Swede green paint from the factory, Swede green interior leather upholstery, Swede green wire wheels, and Swede green drum brakes. The car is convertible with a black soft top, and Dennis and his crew at Collins Bros spent almost 2,000 hours restoring the car. The interior was outsourced to partner Dennis, who has worked for nearly 30 years, but Dennis and his crew did the paint job and mechanical restoration in-house. Dennis's Jaguar Tour is even more special because it still has its original engine. The car was built pre-Second World War, and many were raced and driven hard. Some of them were even taken during the war. The 1937 SS 2.5 liter OHV Jaguar Tour retained its original engine, original cylinder head, original transmission, original chassis, body, tags, and even the radiator, which are the same ones that have been in the car since the 30s. Dennis says this is the most correct SS Jaguar Tour to be restored. Hellwagon The Hellwagon is the first ever Hellcat powered Jeep Wagoneer. Old Jeep Grand Wagoneers have been very popular for a long time. It has that classic wooden trim, drives excellent, and looks awesome, but they've always lacked power. When Dennis found the Jeep Wagoneer, it wasn't in bad shape. It's painted in color code 4B, which is bright red. This color is one of the rarest Jeep Grand Wagoneer colors. This particular Wagoneer was sold through Dennis 10 years before he commenced on the build. To make the Wagoneer perfect, Dennis put a 6.2 liter Hellcat motor with 700 horsepower in it. With the new motor, the old classic Jeep is now one of the most fun trucks one could hope to ever drive or own. 1969 Shelby GT350 
Aside from the Nash Healy cars, Shelby Mustangs are another brand of cars that Dennis seems to be in love with. He also loves Fox Body Mustangs, selling six at the well-known Barrett Jackson auction for record-setting prices. These Fox Bodies were one of the rarest and best preserved Fox Body Mustangs in the world, and they were just brand new because they barely had any miles on them. Dennis has rescued several Shelby Cobras and Mustangs in his YouTube series Coffee Walk. He even bought one from his former partner, Richard Rawlings, for an unspecified amount. This particular Shelby was a special car because it came with the factory color Raven Black, which is very rare because only 79 cars were factory painted with that color for that year. It's also one of 10 convertibles originally owned and assigned to Playboy Enterprises. However, the 1969 Shelby GT350 restored by Dennis is not a convertible car. According to the prior owner, the car had been stuck in a body shop for over a decade, so when it came to Dennis, he put the car back together. Upon doing his research, Dennis found that this car is also a rare gem, one of 23 black jade on black cars ever made. The car's interior is the same as when it was bought new, and in its decades of existence, it has only over 60,000 miles. It also has a numbers matching engine and transmission, which is very rare in cars these old. 1972 American Motors Javelin SST ADPS 401 Alabama Police Special Back in the 70s, this car was known as the Alabama Hama. It was built for law enforcement because American roads were filling up with fast cars at an alarming rate, and law enforcement needed cars that could catch up to citizens with law-ignoring habits. The state of Alabama couldn't afford to buy new cars for its state troopers, so the Alabama Public Safety Department made a deal with American Motors Company, and AMC donated the best car they had to offer at the time, the 401 CID, 6.6 liter with the four-barrel dual exhaust. The deal was not only financially feasible, but it was also great for crime fighting. Field officers learned that no one could outpace them any longer. As a result, 132 AMC Javelins became the first pony car to serve and protect in the United States. Dennis found one of the 13 existing ATPS 1972 Javelin SST police cars. The car was being restored by an older gentleman who had tried restoring the car with original parts. This car is one of the 132 AMC Javelin SST used by law enforcement in Alabama. Of the 13 that still exist, this 1972 SST 401 is the second best example you can find. Dennis is the first owner of the car. Because the vehicles served in law enforcement were driven hard, crashed, jumped, and put through some of the worst situations, when these cars get wrecked, the department always keeps them as spare parts for the still running cars. Dennis's Javelin SST, however, is one of the few in existence that has managed to remain 100% original. Dennis's car is even more special because it was made in 1972, not 1971, and only 48 were made. The 1972 American Motors Javelin SST 80 PS 401 Alabama Police Special is powered by a factory 8-cylinder 401 4V HP engine with a 3-speed automatic transmission, and the only cars that could outrun it during its prime was either a Superbird or a Daytona. It's slated to appear at a Barrett Jackson Scottsdale auction in 2024. 1958 Austin Healey Earls Court Motor Show Car Dennis loves muscle cars like the Shelby and AMC, but loves Heelys more. Since he was in high school, Dennis has been selling big Heelys. Nobody has the pleasure or privilege of owning as many Heelys as Collins. He's also owned every type of Heely ever produced. Dennis lost counts after counting roughly 500 Heelys. He used to keep track of every Heely he owned, but that lasted only a short time. However, the one Healy that got away was this 1958 Austin Healy, affectionately known as Goldie. Until he purchased Goldie, Dennis couldn't get the hundreds despite owning and selling many Healys. According to Dennis, he had been looking for this car for more than three decades and would phone the former owner at least once or twice a year, wondering when it would be for sale. When the owner retired, they agreed to sell it to Dennis. Dennis purchased the car after it had been fully restored, but it wasn't new enough for him. Goldie was prepared to be a work of art on wheels, and she attended the Concours in Kuwait, one of the most challenging Concours a car could win. Goldie is undoubtedly an absolute classic car, restored to be absolutely beautiful. The white on gold is just pleasing to look at. It's a car you'd want to buy even if it doesn't run and drive.